Shit. We got, we do what we do. We got, I, I, I've been watching Goldie's content. That's the reason. I, I've been watching Goldie's content. He, he be getting me in trouble. My chick don't like his content. She's like, he's making too much sense. Shout out to Goldie. All right. What about you? All right, guys. Let's <laughs> like get right into get it, man. Well, hey, what you guys were saying earlier, I need to know what the fuck you said in English. Okay, so my definition of success will probably be far different than everybody else's on the panel. I'll probably maybe be the lone dissenter, but my definition Whoa. of success is having a family, having children, and being part of the apparatus of the world. And true wealth is a rejection of materialism. As Price said himself, mm. what good does it benefit a man? to gain the entire world at the cost of his soul. And the, essentially, when I think of wealth, I think of materialism. It's okay to have materialism. It's not against Christian ethics to become rich, become wealthy. But I just think it's all beside the point, ultimately. You're trying to go for a single thing, and it's to achieve something greater you have than money. the person. Does, does he have money? No. Does, do you have money? No. No, I don't have money. Have? I don't have money. <laughs> but, but here's the thing. Why is, why is money valuable? I'm a, just, do you have Why, money? What is money valuable for? I'm just asking. Do you have money? I just said no. I'm broke. I'm a nobody. No, but really you are? Yeah. Is he really broke? Yeah. I'm just, <laughs> I just want to know. He's I lying. have to know. No, I'm not, I'm not one of these rich guys. I don't have a Bugatti. I don't have a Lambo. I, don't I, have I a just Ferrari. really have to know. Like, how much money you got? Probably five, the five bucks in my pocket. Not much uh, more. See, does anyone, can anyone answer for the guy? <laughs> Why do they think I'm kidding? I have a family. I take care of an entire family. That's yeah. that takes a lot He's of doing money. All right. He's doing all right. Okay, but it's okay. <laughs> this is the thing. This is the thing, you guys. If you ain't fit, you can't say it's not all about being have being in good why, shape. Why not? If you don't have money, you can't say it's not all about money. Yeah, why not? But if he does have money, he can say that. Why not? He why can't. can't you say? Why must you have the thing? Because you, cause before you, I, hang, on, hang on, hang on. Let me ask the question. Because hypothetical is hypocritical. Let me ask the question. Hypothetical is hypocritical. How do you even know what I was going to say? Before I've even been allowed to ask the question. I know what you're going to say. Then what was I going to say? You're going to say, how, why can't you ask the question? Okay, so that's not what I was going to say. What I was going to say is how in the world can you create a standard that it's inappropriate to ask somebody, how come if I don't have X thing because I don't value X thing, does that mean X thing is actually valuable? You've never experienced it, so you can't speak about <laughs> you it. You think that I haven't experienced wealth? Even I, poor I people, was asking if you did. Even poor people experience days of wealth. I was they asking can, if you did. I, I people, don't know who you are. Even yeah, but even poor people experience days of wealth, and so the thing is, is no, it's no, not, definitely not. Definitely yeah, not. Def definitely, no, definitely so. Not. Definitely so. I've lived the lowest lows and the highest highs. Well, what's the, so? What's the distinction after you make X amount, hundreds of thousands of dollars? If you look at the studies done on this, it does not. I don't hugely, fit no fucking studies. It does not bro. hugely improve a person's life. Are you proud of who the fuck bro, you are? Why? Why? why well, don't look you at, even are let you me proud? Get? If you look in the mirror, would you guys say this motherfucker's <laughs> proud of who the fuck he is? That's a bag of trash, dude. <laughs> Pull your fucking shirt off. Because I've been. Tell me you're fucking proud of Because I've been to fucking shit. prison? Jesus Christ. Because look I've been at to you, prison? Bro. You got 10 inch arms and tits. <laughs> Men don't have tits. No, guys. they go to prison where they get fucking. Fuck yeah, they, they get do. raped up the ass. You've never been to prison. Look <laughs> that's what happens. Shit you don't know. Whoa, they go whoa, to prison whoa, whoa, where they get raped. Now you get your ass hold beat on, hold on, hold in front of that's better? You think that that's better? Dude, I would never tell a former prisoner, especially like. Like Wes Watson, he had like 10 years that he got graped up the ass. Like, those are fighting words. If you guys know, like, felons, like, they will fucking kill you for saying some shit like that. I don't know what Let's this guy. Let's let him give his, he shouldn't his have said that. of success. And then, Having tits and 10 inch arms let's, is what a man is. Let's you let guys. Him, let's let him Please get his, don't listen to that. Wes, let's let him get his, his thing out. And then tits. If, <laughs> we can have different opinions. Yeah. Titties. So, anyway, back to where I was at. Boobs. Yeah. Okay. Prison. But anyway, if you want, oh, fuck yeah! If you want to follow the successful mantra of a man who tells you he's reformed from prison, understand why they might have gone there to begin with. And to take yes, care of I do think I do think that a rejection of materialism is something missing in society. And I do think that true wealth is the family. And I think that true wealth is having a wife. And true wealth, that is what I think it is. And that is what I think truly success is: is being able to go home and look your family in the face and know that you're doing everything you can to support them. That's and then when you go to the beach is. with your family, they're like, there's my stud dad right there standing there. Do you have that stud right there with you, his shirt off. Do you have children? Look at that stud. Do you, do you have children? I do have children. How many? I have two. You have two. So are you saying that your Bugatti and your money and everything else is worth more than your children? Like, my dad's a superhero. Look what he brought to the table. Look how hard this guy works. He came from sure. nothing to this. Yeah. He works very – he works – he's – God damn. 
damn it. You're still whining. Stop whining. That, that you're is just a product. I, dude, I will smack your fat yeah, ass. So you're going to attack okay. You're going to attack All right, all right, all right. All right, all right. Dude, do you usually attack armed men in Florida? Dude, all right. Look Let's at just your goddamn self. Okay, guys, well, guys, I've guys, never guys, seen guys, such a pathetic guys, motherfucker. Guys, okay, guys. well, Let's chill out a little I'll, bit, man, a little bit. This is not what men Let's look them, like. Let's let what do they look like? Point. Fucking shit. What do they look like? Bald prisoners? Yeah, fuck, is that what bro. they look like? Th- th- right, this is the problem them, in society. Is people like this think they can talk to someone like me like that. They really think they can. He, he knows he wouldn't do shit about it, and that's the problem. I mean, you're the one who got hostile for having a difference of opinion. Dude. Tra- check it out. You started coming at me about some other shit. This is what the show is supposed to be about. I like this shit. So personally, so I. I enjoy it. Yeah, I enjoy it. I mean, we base. can agree to disagree. We can, yeah, we can, yeah. We can, we can have mo- a... We can move on, but can, Jesus yeah. Christ, men don't have tits. We can agree on that. Physically... Men he, usually have he hair. Has, we can agree on cr- that, too. He has physically. crossed over gender barriers. I think we can see each side has different By, by yeah. choice, crossing gender barriers. By growing tits. So, what about you, brother? All right, nice. Um, Crazy. <clears throat> uh, being successful is effectively um, acting on your intentions, and I think I agree with Andrew that your intentions must align with something bigger than yourself. In my case, it's God, the Christian God, and so uh, a success, success to me is is fulfilling on your intentions but maintaining your ethics. Yeah, man. Standards. I mean, you know, I, I like what Andrew Wilson's saying. I, I do, you know, about being successful and having a uh, wife and kids and a family like that's essentially like that's the ultimate you know goal that should be the ultimate goal for every man but you know the reality of it is like when you're too you got to have a balance of both man when you're too much on one side where you're just like this weird nerdy guy that's just like uh you know uh hasn't been in any type of physical altercation hasn't really you know continuously is denied by every woman they talk to you know then you got to change too you know at the same time because is some of these some of these evil motherfuckers man that, that run the world these globalist guys like the mark zuckerbergs bill gates these type of people these are the same people that are just like were extreme nerds no social life like these people were you know, uh, possibly, you know, pro- possibly never even been in a fight, you know, uh, got denied left and right by every woman they talked to. And now they're like some weird motherfuckers, like, you know, building encampments in Hawaii waiting for like the world to like s- fucking explode because they're funding all these genocidal wars all over the world and shit. These are the same people that, you know, Wes is talking about, these passive aggressive assholes that, you know, they, they're so um, they're like very intelligent they, they can create the next microsoft you know but they're fucking psychopathic and you know they do weird shit and and you know you, you definitely want to have a balance of both man you can't be some guy that just like slides through life you know uh not really living you know essentially just being a weirdo you know nerd type of guy just always can you know conserve to himself like you can't really be like be like that you know, but I'm not saying Andrew Wilson's like that by far. I'm just, I'm just saying, like you, you know, um, yeah, you gotta live a little, and at the same time, you know, uh, you do, you do want to have like some of the attributes that that Andrew has, and 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 the other guy, to where you know you're level headed and you can start a family and shit like that. So, uh, yeah, shout out, to, shout out to both of them. You know, and if you're doing that as a Christian, you are in fact procreating, and if you're not, you're doing something that fills in that gap that's equally. Uh, effective to uh, contributing to a, a, a moral society. And I think more, if you're not contributing to a moral society and you're only contributing to a consumerist society, a materialistic society, that's the only thing you're gonna worship. And tons of people worship material things and flash it around, but it's vacant, it's spiritually vacant. The craziest thing is, if you looked at the people who are supposedly materialistic, We've helped more people than these guys who. Why is helping? Be, what is? Why is helping? Wait, wait, wait. Why lives. is helping important to you? I mean, because I know what it's like to be at the bottom. So okay, so, we, are you helping someone if you give them an expensive watch? Why do you think we just do that? You must not know who you're talking. I asked you to. a question. You didn't answer it. I give them the habits to build themselves. What did I ask something. you though? I said, am I helping them if I give them an expensive watch? I give them habits, a mindset. So the I answer teach is them no. How to operate. So if you give oh, them... Well, you guys ma- are assuming we're only answer, doing no, stuff no. about materialism. Can a man answer a direct question? <laughs> Jesus Christ. These fucking... These Karens The answer is no. Fuck. Look at these oh. fucking Karens. Go ahead, dude. buddy. How the fuck did these guys even get up here? Why would you bring me here with people like you this? You didn't answer the question. 
Dude, dude, dude <laughs> fucking shit. We've got oh. different of, of opinion here. Right. Okay, go ahead, Miguel. I'm, this is why they split it like this. <laughs> this, this. I'm sorry you got. I'm sorry you got put over there. No, I know. You I don't know. really fit over there. We need some other little fucking lame douche over there. Oh man, man. Yeah, Ali, still on, answer man. the question. Is giving what, someone what, an expensive what you, watch. Would any of you guys really hang out with these guys? This is not an argument. Like, Jesus Christ. They're skilled. They're skilled at some things. Oh, Whoever hey, fucking said hey, that. Hang on. That bass guy right there just said, hell yes, shut faggot. up. That's fucking hilarious. You're awesome. <laughs> Go ahead, man. Sorry. The whole crowd says, yeah, we'd hang out with them. Yeah, <laughs> this, this is why most people don't invite me, guys, please. Guys. Different guys on yeah, the panel we can tell. <laughs> have different skill sets and different things that they bring to the table. <laughs> we can tell. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, you know, like, you got to be aware of what you're doing, too, man. At the same time, you can't just go out there and just start a family. Like, from what I understand, I think they're saying, like, Wes Watson has is married to a chick who, who has kids with another dude and shit like that and then the other guy um you know who knows how his marriage is going and shit I, I haven't really looked into it but like you know you gotta you gotta uh also take into account like you have to be socially aware and and be aware with how how women operate because um certain things like that's why the red pill is so important is because you know it it, it 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 it's good to be red pill aware because you're able to identify you know situations that you ideally don't want to be in right like dating a single mother that type of shit or a chick that has like you know is promiscuous or or there's a, she has a lot of red flags or isn't providing value things like that so um yeah, man, you know, uh, that's why you got to live a little bit. You can't just be like in this, uh, you know, you can't just be in a corner fucking just, uh, you know, trying to create the next Microsoft type shit all day and just not get out and, and, and actually get, get shit cracking, man. So, um, yeah, man, but uh, I, I ain't going to lie, bro. I'm going to have to lean on, lean lean with Mr. Watson a little bit, guys. You know, he's he's uh, uh, definitely, I would say, like, he's... he's uh, you know, uh, making a lot more sense as far as uh, male self improvement, in my opinion, from 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 like Western standards. You know, like actually surviving and fucking America. You know, where you, you know, money and material shit is well, not necessarily material shit, but financial, you know, financial success is is uh, just makes makes everything easier. Let's keep it all the way real. All right, man. Um, yeah, man. Shout out to both of them though. So 